Hi guys and welcome to episode 18. So I just want to quickly point out I have bought the her bag and the upgrade. I'm also going to grab the abyss top totem and the totem of the crystal, uh, crystal base and Sasha. And I've still got 400 um, points left. So that's nice I suppose. Okay, so this episode I really want to just focus on knocking out most of these, I say most, but loads of these quests. I just want to get loads done, so I haven't got such a huge list for me to do. So, as before, I'm going to start with shortest and just work my way down. I also want to point out, I'm not going to do any Prif quests on the quest line because... That is my favourite quest line, and I really want to just do all that in one go. So I'm not going to be doing any of the elf proof quests at the moment. Till I can get to a point where I can do all them. But yeah, let's stop rambling and let's just crack on. So first one I want to do is Elemental Workshop Part 1. Right, well that was quick and easy. 125 quest points. Nice. Okay, we can go to May and get our next dice. But yeah. That one's nice, quick and neat. That was actually a lot quicker than I remember. So let's just crack on with the rest, I think. Um, next up, ghost, Ghosts Ahoy. So I need to now gather all this so I can do it. Right, so what's she going to give us this time? Five hundred K, I'll take that. An adamant cane. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, but wait. Oh. Why is it a meal on the GE and only 864 alchemy price? That is shit. Alright, so we finished Ghosts of Hoi. I'll take that. And finally, we've got the Ectophile as well, so it's not going to take ages to get here anymore, which is decent. Next up. Also, can I just point out, whoever said that that quest was short was lying, because that took me bloody ages. Still not going to worry about In Search of My Reek, because I can't be bothered to gather loads again. So I think I'm just going to crack on with All Fired Up, I think. Oh, this is the beacon one, isn't it? Oh... Alright, well we'll do this anyway because there's 20k coins and some fire making XP so every little helps, done it. Alright, so we've now finished all fired up. But I want to just point out, how comes this as is labelled as short to medium, right? When Ghost of Hoy is labelled as short because I'm telling you now, this quest was a lot shorter than Ghost of Hoy. And it's wound me up. Unless I really took my time with Krista <laughs> Hoy. I don't know, but I just wanted to point that out. Um, obviously, Plague City is a part of the Elf series, so I'm going to leave that one. Um, sea Slug is next. All I need to get is some Swamp Pace, and it gives us Fishing XP. Not that we need it, since we are on level 70 Fishing, but we are going to do it anyway. A nice, short, quick one. Done. The sea slug. I can't try saying that any junk. Um, or it could just be me not being able to talk. Uh, okay, anyway. We have done the sea slug quest. Thank you for the XP on fishing. Right, we're going on to the medium section now. Animal magnetism. And I know that is good for range. So I'm going to be doing that one as well. I just need to... Um, Sort all this out that I'm going to need. I'm going to need 20 Ecto tokens. I don't even know how many I've got. Let's have a look. Seven. So I'm going to have to take some over there and get some tokens. Alright, but this one will be next. As I collect the Ecto tokens, is it worth going for the prayer outfit? Because I'm not sure whether it's going to be worth doing or not but yeah if you could just let me know that would be great 
But on that note, we've hit level 50 prayer, which is nice. Thank you very much. And we've finished animal magnetism, finally. Um, that's going to be really helpful for range. I know you'd have to ha I think it's level 50 for it to be the um, accumulator, which we have anyway. So that's fine. Um, I'll take all of that. Yeah, 50 range for it. Yeah, that's fine. We got that. So that's going to be useful for when we eventually get range up, which ain't going to be for a while yet. So next one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Broken Home. It is the last one of the free to play quests that I haven't done and I know if you do it once you've done it and then after, when you do it a second time you do it all the way through without eating I think you get the Asylum Doctor's Ring which is good for um, combat off once you have 85 defence correct me if I'm wrong but I'm, it's around that from what I've seen and heard and been told so yep yeah, I'm gonna do that one and then I'm gonna do it again if it doesn't wind me up um, but I'm gonna do it because I know that ring is a good ring so yeah let's uh, let's go do that okay so we finished it it didn't tell me how long it took me to do that quest but I know it took me bloody ages let's just say that it took so long. I died like twice and oh my god. And it was just mad. But we've done it. We've done it. So I do have the Asylum Doctor's Ring. Okay, so the Asylum Doctor's Ring is the one you finish with it and the Surgeon's Ring is the one you get once you redo it all, complete it, no food, well, uh, only one bit of food and no deaths. So I'm going to try that, and under 37 minutes, so I'm going to try that a little bit later, because that was stressful. That was really stressful, not going to lie. But um, yeah, I'm going to do that again at some point, so I can upgrade my ring. Oh my god, so we've done it in 34 minutes, 3 out of 3 complete quests, which means, if it actually lets us to leave... Right, so we're on 430 <laughs> Oh, okay. Three out of three challenges done. Let's talk to Maria. Oh. oh my god, we got it. Oh my god, we fucking got it. Oh my god, we got it. We got it, we got it. Oh, I am shaking. I've only gone and done it. Oh my god. I ain't got to do that again. Let's put these on the herb. Oh my god. I can't believe I've done that. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, now breathe. Oh. Right, I am fully aware that I'm not able to wear this until level 85 defence, which is fine, but we have it for when we do get it. I mean, Defence is really easy to train anyway, so I'm not really that bothered at the moment. But anyway, let's just crack on with some more quests. We're on 131 quest points. I need 150 to get Vanquish, so I'm nearly there, but I'm just going to keep smashing these out. Alright, so the next quest I am doing is Contact. Um, all I need is the Light Source. I'm going to take that, and then let's just go. Alright, so we've finished Contact, which is nice. Um... I thought this was the quest that unlocked the gates of Menephos, but I don't think it is. That must be something else. But yeah, we've done that now. Another one done, ticked off. So we've got 18 quest points to go before we can get the Vanquish. Um, next quest is going to be Creature of Frankenstein. And I know this is good because it's just the one, yes, it gives you the Ring of Charos. So I can get chips and the rug um, half the price, which will be nice since I've only got two and a half meal anyway. Um, so I'm just going to start gathering all this up. 
I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot about the combat app, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna stick it on strength because we wanna get to God Wars. And then stick it again on strength, and we're on level 51. Yeah. We still need to get, I think it's either level 60 or 70. I keep thinking it's 70, but um, 60 comes, comes into play somewhere, and I can't think where. But never mind, it's fine. Let's, um. Okay, so. Creature of Frankenstrain is done. We've got the Ring of Keros. And done. Deft Dorgashan. Now, I think I'm going to have to get two ham robes from the ham members in the cave dungeon thingy. Um, I think that's going to be the longest thing for me to do, unless there's a way of getting it without having to pit pocket. Okay, so I've been trying to get an extra set of ham robes for the past, I couldn't even tell you, I've been trying for ages. And all I've managed to get is boots that I didn't have, gloves that I didn't have, and a cloak. So instead of spending all day trying to get more ham robes, I've heard that if you make a start on the quest, this one, so if you make a start on this quest, you get them far more quicker. So I'm going to test that out. Right, so I've got one of everything apart from ham logos. I need two of those. So since we've started it, let's see if we can get it far more quicker. Alright, so we've just started and we've already got two items. So that's interesting. Three, oh, okay, yep, yeah, that is definitely quicker. That is true. Let's... That's a fun fact for you. If you didn't know that, that is true. So I just want to point out, all I need is the hood and I've got it all. And that's not even within five minutes. So that helps. If you need, if you're going to do Death to Dorgashan, I think it's pronounced. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, start the quest and then do, do the robes. Because it's far more quicker than doing it without. I've come to the conclusion that I think I'm just going to put all of this in my bank and then try and get the hood because they just won't give it to me right now. I think that might be a probably a good idea. Oh, so, oh I don't need two of those, I only need one. Yeah, so I just need the hood. Give me the hood. We've got it. So, <laughs> maybe they're just holding off given it to me because I had pretty much the whole robe set in my inventory but we've got another hood so I can finally crack on now with the quests thank god that was annoying okay so we finished doing death to the dog shun nice and done sweet but I think I'm going to be ending this episode here um, next episode please do look out for that because we'll be finishing up 150 quest points to get Vanquish. Um, it's been a quite a nice video to do. I actually quite liked doing these quests. Especially getting the old Duda, what's it called? Asylum Surgeon's Ring. So we got something out of this video at least. So as always don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and I shall see you in the next episode. Yes, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.